Hello, how's it going? Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I'm gonna play some songs. Let's start with the uh, one called "Ease Your Pain." When one day the spark in my eyes goes dark Shed not a tear in my name Let our love live on in the words of this song To bring you calm Ease your pain. Said I'd never leave you lonesome. Oh, my love. Wish it was a promise I could keep. Sailing for the darkest ocean. Into the greatest mystery Though I know your hearts are breaking Oh my love Standing strong by my side Leaving ain't easy for those taken It's hardest on those left behind When one day the spark in my eyes goes dark Shed not a tear in my name Let our love live on in the words of this song To bring you calm and ease your pain You wear my pride upon your finger Oh my love Many happy we've spent loving names we gave each other honored to have been called your friend hear that train whistle calling oh my Wheels rolling down the track When I enter that long tunnel No, there ain't no looking back When one day the spark in my eyes go dark shed not a tear in my name let our love live on in the words of this song to bring you calm and ease your pain 
Let our love live on in the words of this song To bring you calm and ease your pain That was called Ease Your Pain. That was on my uh, 2019 album, Songs of the Highway. Got a, got a bunch of songs here for you today. How has everyone been? It's, uh, I don't know. I don't, look at the, uh, I don't look at the weather all that often. I, I live in Tennessee, so I just know... Um, <clears throat> It's either hot or it's hot with a chance of tornadoes. Um, but uh, but yeah, apparently we're getting. I saw something about like another heat wave coming in. So looking forward to that. Saw my friend uh, Jason the other day. Went out to see him play a few songs. That was good. I haven't seen him in years. And, uh, yeah, weird, weird being out. But, uh, gonna get my daughter vaccinated soon and go out and, uh, I guess play songs again. It's gonna be weird. Let's try a, a newer one of mine called um, Helen Back. Let's see here. They don't know my love for you. I'd 
go through hell and back, it's true. Don't know just what I'd do without you by my side. They don't know my love for you. I'd go through hell and back, it's true. Don't know just what I'd do without you by my side. That was called Helen Back. That will likely be on the next album. I say likely because I've got all these songs written, but uh, <clears throat> I'm doing something unusual for me, and I'm continuing to write. Usually I kind of like write the songs for an album, and I just kind of take a break. Um, but uh, And, you know, arrange the songs, which we're starting to arrange the songs. But I arrange the songs and then start working on the album and doing all of that stuff. But I'm still uh, still writing songs and songs that may uh, be on the next album after this album that comes out or uh, may bump a song off of uh, off of this album. We'll see. we got here. Uh, let's do something older. Let's do uh, The Outlaw off my first album. Staring out the window at a mountain range Speeding down the track on a one-way train Cop at my side, they say tomorrow I'll hang Longing for my freedom like a dog on a chain Never felt no comfort in Caroline Got sweet Mary on my mind Don't you cry for me Lay me down where the river meets the sea Come on, lay me down, girl Robbed a bank in Baltimore and River City, too Got lucky in Kentucky, yeah, you know how I do I see caught up with me down in Tennessee they said, come out with your hands up. I said, hold on, let me uh, finish my tea. Ran to my bed, grabbed the boots and my... Ran to the bed, grabbed my boots and my gun. Out from the window and away I run. Ran for the station and almost made it too. Sometimes you make plans and life has other plans for you. Ain't that true? If I had a boy, you know I'd tell him, son Don't be like me, don't live by the gun Well, you think a man's right Just cause you've seen him wrong Well, that man ain't free He's just a man without a home So walk me to the gallows Up those creaking stairs Hood on my head and the noose around my neck Yell to the coppers Do what you gotta do Done more living in my short life than you could do in two. Come on, cut that rope, boys. I was only joking.
Yeah, I need to tune this thing. Temperature fluctuation. And uh, combine that with new strings. Guitars don't like that. All right. Let's see what else we got. Practice with the band. Um, did a little arranging with the bands last week. Last week, and uh, and uh, it was good. It was good, you know. Um, uh, and we're recording the uh, the arranging of the songs, which I'm sharing with my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's patreon.com forward slash Josh Gray Music. Lots of uh, Bonuses and behind the scenes videos, things like that. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, just arranging the songs. Um, uh, kind of, um, I don't know. It's interesting. Every album, every album you do is kind of like a different uh, feeling. Hello, Mr. Classic. What's up? Uh, every album you do is kind of like a different feeling, you know. Um, on the last album, it was my uh, it was my first time feeling like I was. Um, I mean, it was my first time like with a full band, like in the studio, you know. So it was an interesting experience, and um, and it kind of changed the way I write songs. Now, now I write songs um, with uh, w without kind of like a solo singer songwriter uh, mentality like I think of like oh um strings would sound good on this or like you know some kind of other percussion would sound good in this part I'll leave this little part open um this little I'll put this little instrumental part here so this instrument can solo over this this kind of stuff um but I was also because it was like my second album I was kind of like um very precious about like the uh the songs and I feel like this album is is just as good if not better than that last one and uh but I feel like less precious about the uh the songs so I'm open to uh experimentation um so uh I'm gonna try and do some interesting things um on this next one when we get in the studio and record uh let's do uh let's do one from that last album of mine um came out in 2019 not that song that I just hit we're gonna switch <laughs> Uh, we're going to do one called uh, All Out War. I can feel the heat on this Texas street Burning holes in the soles of my shoes Surrounded by men In dark and dens Communing with bottles of booze There's a picture of you At 22 In the breast pocket of my coat I turn it over when I'm not sober And shed tears to the words you wrote I said open your eyes Raise your fears Show me that we are worth more than this I know it ain't easy But it's worth fighting for No loud war.
This old guitar carries the scars of a thousand barroom nights. My fingers, they trace the lines on her face as she sings neath the fluorescent lights. I cradle each word like a newborn bird falling from the nest. I was too blind to see you had to be free or else be laid to rest. I said open your eyes, raise your fears, show me that we're worth more than this. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for. Love ain't a battle, it's an all-out war. An all-out war. Been chasing my breath since the day you left Twelve long years ago It's the snap of the bone as the blade finds its home Where loved ones flourished and flowed I've known the sacrifice of a reclusive vice Though many an angel is tried if you ask me today, I just have to say, I guess that I'm doing all right. I said, open your eyes, raise your fears, show me that we are worth more than this. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for. I said, open your eyes, raise your fist, show me that we're worth more than this. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for. Love ain't a battle, it's an all out war. That one's called All Out War. That was from my uh, 2019 album, Songs of the Highway. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, Mr. Classic. And thanks for the follow. Yeah, that was from my uh, 2019 album, Songs of the Highway. So uh, check it out if you like what you hear. Well, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that so much. Um, you know. Every uh, every songwriter has uh, has inspirations, you know. So if I can be an inspiration to anybody, um, you know, that's an awesome thing. But yeah, that was from my 2019 album, Songs of the Highway, recorded down here in Nashville. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like that, check it out at uh, joshgraymusic.com. Uh, what's up, Michael? Thanks so much. Check it out at joshgraymusic.com or on, uh, on Bandcamp or wherever you buy albums online. I'm on all the digital platforms. But, uh, yeah, if you like that, the, on the album you get to hear me uh, with the full band. And uh, it's, uh, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's a lot more badass. But, uh, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's do a new one, uh, newer one that'll, that should be on the next album. This one is called uh, Autumn Days. Wrote this for my daughter. Thanks so much.
So much I never knew Wasted away my years Then you came along Filled my life with song Still I had my fears I am so amazed By all of the grace In these autumn days How far we have come Traveling round the sun In these autumn I never had a plan Or really gave a damn About more than being free Helped me realize Or anyone the prize You made a rich man of me I am so mad So yeah, that one's called Autumn Days. It'll likely be on the next album. Got to figure that one out with the band. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, if I'm known for one thing, if I want to be... The one thing I want to be known for, I should phrase it as, is, uh, is lyrics. That's kind of like everything to me. You say you normally rap. Um... I mean, I love I love all kinds of music. I love hip hop as well. Um, you know, good writing is good writing. It doesn't matter the genre. You know, um, I was uh, I had a shirt on the other day. I had a MF Doom shirt on the other day. Um, I I listen like when I listen to hip hop, it's more like underground kind of stuff. You know, but. Uh, 
But um, yeah, MF Doom and guys like that who like just play with language. Anybody who plays with language, I, I really like enjoy that, you know, just kind of explores the boundaries of language and how to... Um, it's the same thing with like visual art, right? Like, I mean, someone, anyone can just take like a picture of, of a flower, right? But like if somebody takes it from a unique angle and you don't like, you don't know it's a flower at first glance and then you kind of have to like figure it out, you know, anyone who can cause you to look at something in a way or stop and look, you know, uh, cause we're all, uh, in life, you know, life is short and we're all in too much of a rush to like get where we're going, you know? So if someone can cause you to, uh, whether it's music or, or visual art or whatever it is, if someone can cause you to stop for just a minute and just kind of like appreciate the things we take for granted, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's worth it. It's a good thing. That's cool, man. I read a lot of uh I read a lot of poetry and um and uh there's no uh music genre that is closer to poetry than uh than hip hop. So um so yeah. But uh but yeah, I listen to I listen to every kind of every genre. So every every you can't just be like I like um I just like this one genre. I'm just like this one type of artist because then your your music's going to be stagnant, you know. Plus, I mean like why do we even um <clears throat> you know, look at a look at a TV show like uh look at like Breaking Bad or like look at like Game of Thrones or whatever, whatever hit like TV show you want to name or whatever movie you want to name. Like, why do we watch that? Like if it's, if it was just showing us like the life that we live, we wouldn't really be all that interested. Right. It's, it's all about, um, seeing how other people live and like their experiences. Right. And, and the, and uh, don't ever let someone tell you that. Um, don't ever let someone tell you write what you know, right? That's bullshit. I mean, you should write what you know, but also like, don't be limited to write what you know. Write. Write what you don't know, as well. Just make sure you do your research. I re I wrote a song that's gonna be on this next album about. Um, about New Orleans, and uh, it's not public yet. It's gonna be on the next album. Now, have I ever been to New Orleans? No, never been to New Orleans. <laughs> Hope I don't get banned. But uh, but it's a good song, and um, and I did my research. You know, I. Uh, I pulled up Google Maps and I looked at all the streets and I looked at like the entertainment district and like what streets are in the entertainment district. Like when I was, because I put street names in the song, you know, you got to do your research. There's a, uh, there's an old, um, there's an old Bob Dylan song uh, that he wrote about this crime that happened in, uh, in Baltimore. And uh, someone found, um, I think it was the director of the of the the wire um that show about baltimore um and uh when he was going through like like the police notes um he found this old request sheet um from uh like it was a file for a request on this crime from bob dylan so like bob dylan had like written to the uh the precinct to get the uh, information on the um, the crime, like as he was uh, writing the song about it, because he wanted to make sure he got things right. I mean, you can't always get things right, but you can do your best. It's important. Yeah, with time and effort, you can do anything for sure. Don't, and that's kind of what this next album um, uh, that I'm going to come out with is about. It's about. Uh, 
doing doing things yourself, even when if, if other people don't believe you can do it. You know, if you believe in yourself, that's all you need. So with that, I will uh, I'll play one of the songs on the next album. It's called Walk Alone. And I think that kind of like embodies that feeling more than uh, any other song. I was born never to dream, dreaming is a dying art It's the only art we're doing, but it ain't for the faint of heart I've been told countless times, don't you know you'd never be known But I know myself just fine, sometimes you gotta walk alone Oh, walk alone You gotta fight in this life for everything you want What you let pass you by, tomorrow returns to harm There's a million sob stories waiting to be told The universe don't give a damn what you think you're owed Walk alone. Oh, 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 walk alone. Walk. Don't let the cards you dealt be the only hand you play Bitter people just project the sorry things they say I know who the hell I am and where I'm bound to be Gonna lose all your money if you're betting against me Oh, 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 oh walk alone So yeah, that's called uh, that's called Walk Alone. That will likely be the uh, that'll likely be the title track of the next album. Yeah, <clears throat> appreciate it. You know, sometimes. Um, I've said this before, um, you know, uh, sometimes there are people like you, Mr. Classic, I appreciate you, um, you know, uh, overwhelmingly, I, I think people in the world, uh, for the most part, um, are, uh, are nice people. I think people are, are, are nice people in the world. I think the majority is, but I think the people who get the biggest platform are the, uh, are, uh, you know, usually pieces of shit, um, especially uh, politicians. But that's another story. 
but uh, but uh, every once in a while, someone comes on here, and you know, you get trolls online and stuff like that. Someone comes in, they try, try to talk crap and everything like that, you know. And I've just said, and and it's that whole walk alone mentality of that last song that I just played, um, you know. And I've just said to those people, nothing you can say can hurt me because I'm a songwriter. <laughs> Nothing you can say can hurt me. You know? Um, because uh, if, you try to, if you try to play shows, like, look, we've had COVID and stuff like that. I haven't, I haven't been playing shows, um, really, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start getting back out there and playing shows. But, the, but one of the things, I always love playing shows, but one of the things I absolutely did not miss was booking. Booking is a nightmare. And just reaching out to, um, to venues and not hearing back, you know, at all. And uh, just having to bug people. Same thing with radio, trying to get radio play and just having to do it on your own, just bug people and not hearing back and stuff like that. So, like, um, <clears throat> you know... It's the same reason people hate dating, right? Because like someone tries to like ask out a girl or a guy, right? They try to ask out a girl or a guy and then they get, they, you either get the date or you get rejected, right? So people hate that rejection, right? So like the amount of, the amount of rejection in, in the average person's life, like as far as, is mainly with, with dating or with uh, like applying for a job, right? So that's right here. But like a, a musician's rejection who's trying to like, <laughs> a musician has that. But then they've also, their, their rejection is like up here. Like you can't hurt them because uh, they know a different level of rejection um, from, from music venues and, and all kinds of things. So yeah, you can't, you can't hurt a, uh, that sounds like a song right there, you can't hurt a musician. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Classic, appreciate it. It's all about, um, yeah, I mean, that song, you know, Walk Alone, it's all about believing in yourself. And that's, um, that's really what, uh, what music is all about, right? Because uh, the majority of people, even the people who have made it, right, they made it after many years. Um, uh, this is not the 60s, you know, where uh, music venues have a ton of um, scouts uh, coming out to your to every show and and scouting people and taking chances on people with money, they don't take chances on people anymore. What they do is um, it doesn't really matter if you're how good you are, like it matters a little bit how good you are, but what really matters is how big of a following do you have. Um, can we make money off of you? If we can make money off of you and we see that you have a big following, then uh, then we're gonna try and tap into that and try and get some of that money. So that's really what it's all about. It's not about necessarily putting out the best music. Um, but for me, it's about putting out the best music because I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to uh, build a library. I'm trying to build a library of, of, of songs and I wanna be able to look back on that catalog of albums that I put out and be proud of it. You know, I don't wanna say, yeah, these were the two songs on this album of 10 songs. I, I wrote, I really worked hard on these two or three songs and then the rest were just kind of filler so I could release the album. And I feel like that's what a lot of albums have always been. And I feel like, especially now, that's what a lot of albums are because, um, Spotify has made everybody focus on singles, right? So how many, how many singles are you going to have on an album when you release an album, right? Are you going to have 10 singles is everyone going to be single worthy or are you really mainly focused on the one song that's going to be like the hit song for you and then the others are just so you can call it an album and release it right I don't release singles I release albums maybe I'm a product sometimes I feel like I'm a product of a different era um as far as that respect because I'm not going to like I'm not gonna change and just start releasing individual songs and, and doing all that. First of all, I, I'm, you know, I'm motivated to, to write good songs, but I'm not motivated to post on social media all the time. So um, 
So yeah, it's uh, it's not always the best um, formula for success to not post on social media all the time. You have to get to both write songs and and post on social media constantly. So I would love to. Uh, my this is my main goal, right? My main goal is to make a living off my music. A modest living. I don't need to be rich. Um, and uh, and I want to get. I want to be successful enough to be able to pull my music off of Spotify. <laughs> because they're vultures and scumbags. Well, I'm glad you're getting motivation from it. Appreciate it. Let's do a. I think I'm gonna do a. Um, I got about ten more minutes here before I head on over to uh, to Patreon. Um, if anyone's interested in that, it's patreon.com forward slash forward slash uh, Josh Gray Music. You can join for as little as three bucks a month. Um, every week I do these uh, public live streams, but then I head over there and I do like an additional um, hour of new and and unreleased stuff, and and there's a lot of bonus things on there, so. Um, let's see, I'll do a couple more songs here. I'm going to do, um, let's try Punk Rock Girl. This is a song that was co-written by my friend Joe in The Dead Milkman. Um, let's see if I remember how to play this. I actually did this cover on my first, uh, on my first album. Um... One Saturday I took a walk to zip ahead I met a girl there and she almost knocked me dead Punk rock girl, please look at me What do you see? Let's travel around the world Just you and me, punk rock girl I tapped her on the shoulder and said, do you have a bow? She looked at me and smiled and said she did not know. Punk rock girl, give me a chance. Goods go slam dance, we'll dress like Minnie Pearl. Just you and me, punk rock girl. We went to the Philly Pizza Company and ordered some hot tea. And the waitress said, well, no, we only have it ice. So we jumped up on the tables and shouted anarchy. And someone played a Beach Boys song on a jukebox. It was California Dreaming. So we started screaming on such a winter's day. We went to her parents for a Sunday meal. Her father took one look at me and he began to squeal. Punk rock girl, it makes no sense. Your dad's the vice president, rich as the Duke of Earl. Yeah, you're for me, punk rock girl. to a shopping mall and laughed at all the shoppers and security guard 
Birch Trail as to a record store. We asked for Mojo Nixon, and they said, Well, he doesn't work here. We said, If you don't got Mojo Nixon, then your store could use some fixing. We got into a car. And away we started rolling I asked how much you pay for this She said, nothing man, it's stolen Punk rock girl, you look so wild Let's have a child We'll name her Manny Pearl Just you and me Eating fudge, banana swirl Just you It goes something like that. <laughs> Haven't played that in a while. That is a uh, that is a uh, a song um, by the Dead Milkmen. <clears throat> uh, that's a song by the Dead Milkmen, and uh, yeah, one of those classics. I listened to them a lot in high school. If you've never listened to them before, they are kind of like a, I would describe it as kind of like comedy punk. Like there's a lot of humor in their music. Um, but they're a band out of Philly. Oh yeah, you think your dad listened to that? They were on, uh, they were on MTV back in the day. You should look up the, uh, you should look up the, uh, the music video for Punk Rock Girl. It's pretty funny. Um, and it shows a lot of sights around Philly. But uh, I kind of... I probably went on... To, I went online to like one of those sites that like tells you the chords. I don't know for that. But then also I just kind of like... Um, if you listen to the original song you'll see that I kind of did it in, in the, in the right, in, in uh, a different way. You know, I kind of made like a folk song out of it as opposed to like the punk song that it originally was, but I changed some chords slightly as well. Um, but yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna play one more here. Uh, this is one of mine, this is one of my newer ones. This will be on the next album. It's called Cheyenne. After I play that, I'm gonna jump over to uh, Patreon, probably do like another hour. And uh, yeah. If you like what you've heard um, today, uh, check out my website, joshgraymusic.com. You know, pick up a CD or digital copy of the album. Even if you don't, um, sign up for the email list because uh, what I'm going to be doing soon, <clears throat> I'm in the planning stages right now. I'm going to be doing, I did this for my last album. Last album, I did a, uh, a Kickstarter and I raised all the money, uh, uh, you know, listeners of my music uh helped me raise all the money for my uh, my last album which i'm super thankful for and uh we're gonna try the same thing with this next one there's gonna be a lot of um exclusives um a lot of exclusive things that uh are gonna be perks um to uh to pre-ordering the album so uh, a lot of cool things planned um so to be one of the first to hear about that so you can jump on it. Um, sign up to my email list at joshgraymusic.com. When you go in there, it's right at the top of the page. And then you'll, you'll, um, 
you'll get a free song download and you'll get a 20% off of your first uh, order if you want to if you want to order a CD or anything like that so uh, let's do this song uh, Cheyenne uh, it's going to be on the next one here we go Let the moonlight carry me O'er the rivers, through the trees Into my lover's waiting arms Curse my rambling heart Keeping us apart I've only memories To keep me warm Beating on these jailhouse bars Staring at the midnight stars Slowly wearing away At the same This is the price I pay I'll sleep in this bed I've made you yeah. And live what could have been In my dream On a killing floor in Omaha Got word of a job out west They picked me up three weeks ago I guess you know the rest Never meant it to go that far You know I'm a peaceful man Everyone has a breaking point I found mine in Cheyenne Beating on these jailhouse bars Staring at the midnight stars Slowly wearing away at the scene This is the price I pay I'll sleep in this bed I've made you yeah. And live what could have been In my dreams Never been good at goodbyes So I'll just tell it to you quick Don't wait for me, honey I ain't getting out of this fix, no It brings me a smile That for a short while I was able to walk the line Mage vision, you see When you look back at me Slip free from the cruel hands of time Each night I am graced With maidens of lace And feasts that are fit for a king Then I open my eyes As the sun starts to rise And the dove on my seal warms its wings Beating on these jailhouse bars Staring at 
the midnight stars slowly wearing away at the scene if this is the price I pay I'll sleep in this bed I've made yeah. and live what could have been in my Yes, I'll live what could have been in my dream. That one's called uh, Cheyenne. Uh, that'll be on the next one, next album. What's up, Ram? Thanks so much to, uh, to everyone who, uh, who tuned in. Um, if you like what you heard, share it around with uh, friends. Pick up an album at joshgraymusic.com. Join the, the Patreon. Um, but yeah, just following, you know, it's not all about money. Uh, just following or, or, uh, or sharing or joining the email list. You know, those are all free, free ways to support. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Mr. Classic. Appreciate it. Nice meeting you. Uh, thanks so much to friends new and old. I'm jumping over to, uh, to Patreon now. It's patreon.com forward slash Josh Gray Music. Uh, join for three bucks a month. You know, lots of cool things going on over there. Um, going to go over there, play an additional hour. And uh, we're going to do some new and unreleased tunes. Um, when we talk about unreleased tunes, I probably got like, I don't know, eight or nine songs that are unreleased over there. And then, um, three that three new ones that are going to be on the next album that have not been, uh, shared publicly. Only my patrons have heard them. So cool stuff over there. Uh, but yeah, make sure you follow, like subscribe, do all the, do all the things. Thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, I will uh, catch you on the next one. Take care.